I'm very happy to be here at the Volcan with you today. I really would like to share with you our passion for butter. It sounds a bit strange in 2015 to talk about barter. We're not going to tell you about uh, prehistoric kind of barter, but rather modern barter. It's not in any a commercial or technological project. It's a project for to improve mankind. Yes, we're very happy to be here with you to tell you about uh, the uh, tool for barter, which is based on the symbiotic system in nature. In nature, there are no, there's no waste and there's no money. So we believe that all our resources can become a currency to be exchanged with someone else, with companies or even territories. And this is what uh, guides us every day in our project. Christmas is coming up in three months' time. How many of you have bought a, a present last year or been given a, a present that ended up in a drawer and was never used? Uh-huh. Okay, at least you're honest. Last year, across the world, 2.6 billion gifts ended up in a drawer or in the dustbin. It doesn't work. Obviously, I belong to the Z generation. The Z generation was the generation who was lucky. We had fun. We consumed endlessly. Everything was single use and could be thrown away. I remember a time when uh, we had um, single-use um, cigarette lighters that we could throw away. We didn't know where things came from and where they went once we'd thrown them into the dustbin. We didn't care. But now, when I think about the whale that died last year because it ate up all the plastic bags, that were floating in the sea, I thought, God, the world is upside down and we have to make things change. I'm an activist and I was trying to find a tool and I thought that uh, barter was a good idea. So I'm going to talk about circular Barter. And I'm going to explain uh, what we do. We uh, met with Gilbert in a co-working space. We were talking to many uh, company managers who had uh, very good ideas, and it was a uh, very uh, fertile think tank. Uh, pool, uh, car sharing uh, was invented, and it was the beginning of collaborative consumption. It was the beginning of co-something. In French, we say covoiturage for carpooling, so it's co-something. And eco-actions is also something we're very uh, familiar with. I uh, sort out my waste, and when I walk in the street, I see things that can be uh, gathered and turned into garden equipment or garden furniture. But, you know, is that sufficient? Are we simply... Uh, are we really treating, addressing the problem or simply taking care of uh, small problems? Well, if, like Vincent, you already perform some eco-actions, uh, we should rejoice. But if you look at this picture and you see a mountain of waste, I think we should shift gear and go faster. I'm sure that many things can still be used again and can be given a second life. And barter is a way for us to embark on a virtuous circle. Resources will no longer be thrown away, but maybe they will circulate between people and we will see that they become wealth that can be shared. 
So the system was called uh, Troc Circulaire 3.0, Circular Barter 3.0, because thanks to new technologies, we were able to clear one of the main obstacles. The fact that uh, we had to find people who uh, had something to offer and, some, and others who needed the same thing. You might in this room have something that you're looking for, and I have something to offer, except it's not the same thing. So we have uh, solved that problem by using computers, and all of us can pull our offers and get something uh, in exchange that we're looking for. So it works. It's uh, working, myrecyclestuff.com, people exchange resources, and it's like a clearing house, really, uh, for stock exchanges. And money is only one of the resources, but most of the resources can be exchanged. Say that Mathilde wants a vintage mirror, and she has a dress for Clotilde, like, but Clotilde doesn't want the dress, the uh, cycle will stop. But here we can do something else. Mathilde will uh, give the uh, dress to uh, Mac Madeleine, who will uh, give uh, something to Vincent, who will give his uh, console to another boy who will give a mirror to Mathilde. So it's a circle. It's a loop that will be closed. The circle has allowed everybody to uh, find the object they needed in exchange for something they wanted to give away. Nobody is paying for anything. The goods are circulating. And this is also going to preserve resources on the planet. We didn't want to keep it at that. We thought, hey, this is a good idea. It works well with private individuals, but private individuals only uh, account for about 30 million tons of uh, waste, whereas companies, uh, well, companies, they account for 10 times that amount, more than 300 million tons of waste, which uh, in France are not being reused. So we worked on our algorithm and we adapted it for, uh, brought it to the necessary size for companies, 4 million equivalent oil tons, and barter is something that is still being used across the world. 15% of trade exchanges, trades in exchanges in the world are made of barter. So why not use the circular exchange and trading system? We could Im improve uh, economic growth in some instances. The new platform is called cobusiness.fr. It's uh, rather generalistic, uh, and people can, companies can exchange materials or possibly even premises, services, skills. And for the people we worked with, it was very important that they could trade all kinds of uh, products and services. The index uh, that we uh, were told about yesterday could very well be used to measure the way our platform works, and the companies uh, present on our platform could judge this. We have eight networks, approximately 800 companies have uh, tested the first version. It's a lot already. I'll give you an example. Dominique wanted to set up a company and ask for money, 5,000 money from uh, 5,000 euros from the bank. The bank said no. And on co-business, within 15 times, she was 15 days, she was able to create, set up her company. Somebody helped her prepare a website. Somebody else offered uh, 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 an office, and she exchanged that for coaching services for free. So we have worked with uh, entrepreneur panels. You know, every time there is money involved, uh, people get very touchy. So we had to find a way to attribute a value or a worth to the goods being exchanged. So have a look at co-business on the website, and you will understand. I don't have enough time to describe it in detail, but it's legal. Absolutely. It was a new technological challenge. We wanted things to be legal, so uh, 
VAT is calculated. There is a, there is a, uh, a system to assess the worth of every service. And we have a multi-resource database which uh, extends this uh, barter system to services. So we're neither talking about doing things free of charge or exchange at bilateral exchanges between two people. This is a wider system which creates a cooperation circle and a whole network can benefit from the system in a given territory. The clearing system and the whole device is uh, quite audacious and we want to take it one step further. We have started thinking that if territories could um, use it in their dynamic, uh, in their economic system, they could make the system more dynamic. So maybe we could all start dreaming about something, a sort of uh, multi-resource uh, marketplace where people could introduce uh, raw materials, wood, energy, but also all kinds of uh, finished goods, manufactured goods, things that can still be used and should not be thrown away, and also um, human values, uh, services. And this multi-resource uh, marketplace uh, would allow us to contribute by uh, exchanging things. So you give something and you get something in exchange, which is actually like a retribution. For our technician friends, uh, people who are technicians or engineers, they, ha they will have to find the even better ideas to make the system more efficient. Experiments have been conducted uh, the day before yesterday. We attended a meeting uh, in Paris for circular economy, and we made a presentation on this solution. But the role played by digital technologies or new kinds of IT technologies, everything that will allow to make calculations and connections, was totally absent from the meeting. You, maybe you remember that uh, the internet, the web, has uh, changed the way we have access to information now. All kinds of objects are connected. There are algorithms to foster this type of exchange system. And we think that the next stage will provide an exponential access to all kinds of resources. What has just recently taken place with the website for information. Can you imagine the same thing happening for resources? That resources would start circulating at the same speed as information circulates. We, we would move to a, a kind of civilization where everybody would, could contribute by exchanging goods. So we're looking for new contributors who want to work with us so that we can uh, conduct experiments. And we would like you no longer to uh, pay taxes uh, while complaining all the time, but we want you to start contributing to a positive economy that we are sharing tonight.